Good afternoon, Pokesports. It's your host, Mike, and I play with two Pokemon on the field. Today, my friends, we're playing with a Frozmoth team. I'm really interested to see how Frozmoth does in Regulation D, because now we can set up the snow, and this is a Scarlet Violet thing. We can set up the snow with Obama Snow or with Tornadus with Snowscape, and then send out the ice types that, you know, take half of their uh, physical damage in the snow. We've got Frozmoth, we've got Obama Snow, both taking uh, half physical damage, which of course works out really well for Frozmoth because that they also have uh, ice scales to bring up, I believe, their special defense. Uh, now, Frozmoth also has the Aurora Veil in case you can't get that up with a Bomb of Snow or you're not going to bring it. Um, you, you've also got the Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance is what makes Frozmoth Frozmoth, right? If you can get one or two or three or four plus six Frozmoths, uh, then you can make sure that you are doing some massive damage. You can use Blizzard to, to like do the damage or you can use Giga Drain to bring all of your HP back. Uh, this one's interesting because it has a Garchomp on it. And I like the Garchomp in that it, it rounds out the team. You've got the Dragon typing, the Ground typing, which is what this team like severely misses, uh, especially because you're you're doubling up on your Ice types there. Um, but it's also got the Sword Stand, so you can set up and, and destroy other people. Uh, it's also got the Heatran and the Cresselia because those two are just great Pokemon. Uh, you can use Lunar Blessing to bring up your Frozmoth again after it uh, after it uses a couple Quiver Dances. Um, and then Tornadus with Tornadus things. Weather, Taunt, Tailwind, and Bleak Wind Storm is pretty much the staple for, for Tornadus. Anyway, we're going to take this team into the battle arena. We're going to try it out. and We're going to see how we do. All right, follow me now. Let's go. All right, my first battle is up against Casper, who's bringing a bunch of things weak to ice. These are three Pokemon weak to ice, and I'm bringing the ice team, so I'm having a great time here. I don't know if I want to uh, drop ice right off the bat with Obama Snow because of the Iron Bundle. And so because of that, I'm going to bring Tornadus. I'm going to bring Heatran. Is bringing Heatran right off the bat a, a solid idea? Post in the comments. We're gonna put Heatran there. I'm then going to bring Frozmoth. Um, Tornadus is my snow setter, by the way, so that's why I can consider not bringing the Abomb Snow here and still bring the Frozmoth. I would just need at least a turn to bring the Tornadus up to speed, as it were. Is bringing Cresselia worth it here? I don't know if it is. It's kind of interesting. Uh, but I, I, mm, I don't know if I need that kind of bulk. I say that because I really want to bring the Garchomp just for no reason. For absolutely no reason. This Obama Snow. Well, you know what? There's so many Pokemon weak to ice. Maybe I do want to bring the Obama Snow. Oh, here's something. If I bring the Obama Snow and the Tornadus, then I don't need to worry about Snowscape and I can do all the other things that Tornadus does. And then with all my special attackers, I can focus down the Iron Bundle. I was worried about its defenses, but why am I worried about an Iron Bundle's defenses when all of the damage that I do is special? Frozmoth is special. Obama Snow is special. Heatran is special. Yeah, Tornadus is special as well. This is nothing. All right, Obama Snow can just hit me with that. Oh boy. Mm. I think I'm gonna have. I can't Tailwind here. I'm gonna taunt that Natus. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to Blizzard here for the Reggie Draco. Next turn, I can Tailwind and Aurora Veil, but I don't even know if I'm going to get Aurora Veil off this uh, this game. I would love to get Aurora Veil off this game, but this is just too valuable hitting a Blizzard on two super effective mods. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just not have the opposing Natus go first, please. Yeah, okay. So that was, oh, that was the right thing to do, I think, is to terrestrialize at least one of those Pokemon, <laughs> at least. And as long as this isn't a mental herb natus, then we're, we're gonna be good. It is, okay. Sadness, sadness. Tailwind is okay as long as my Tornadus doesn't go down. Parablast is going to be on the bomb snow. Which is good. It works out. Yeah, 
Okay, I think I can hit a bleak wind. Should hitting bleak wind be my priority or tailwind? Probably tailwind, to be honest. I guess that was kind of my one chance to Roar Veil, wasn't it? Hmm. Gonna protect. Obama Snow's going down if I don't protect right now, so. Kinda need to pull myself out of this. Uh uh. Uh uh. I need to pull myself out of a bad situation here. My speed's gonna fall, that's not great. Good, so I was able to, oh right, yes, it hits everything. Oh fun, good, good fun. All right, Heatran is gonna have to save me here. Heatran will save me. And I think actually I can swap into Frozmoth and take whatever hit quite nicely. There we go. Because I kind of need the Obama Snow. I really would like to set up an Aurora Bale, and I can do that with Frozmoth too, actually. But then that would make Heatran the only, the only, <clears throat> the only Mon on the field that can, you know, do anything. Okay, Bleak Wind's gonna miss somebody. Yes, Bleak Wind missed the one that mattered. Ooh. Okay, super curious about Dragon Energy. Nice. Okay. Wow. That didn't do very much at all. Didn't take out the Reggie Jurgle, though. Okay. Uh, so we know how much damage that Heatran can take. And the answer is all of it. Uh, hmm. If Frozmoth lives any of this. then I can go for a Quiver Dance, actually, and set myself up for the rest of the game. Miss Frozmoth again? Oh, okay, no. Eh, not my favorite thing. Definitely not my favorite thing, Frozmoth. <laughs> Frozmoth took one damage from that. Well, that's good, okay. So, <clears throat> I actually got, I got my Frozmoth's Quiver Dance up. Now, as long as they don't send out a Pokemon with priority, I should be able to just finish everything off with, with Frozmoth. Because I have a Quiver Dance. One Quiver Dance, that's all I need. You know? Mm. I've forgotten everything about what, Qui uh, not Quiver Dance, Dragon Energy does. Because I feel like that did less damage. Dragon Energy deals damage. It has 150 base power at maximum HP. Base power decreases to proportional to the user's HP. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, what are the chances that uh, I'm faster than an iron bundle? Not, right? There's no way. Oh, there is a way. Their tailwind's done. That's really good. That's really good. All right, uh, if I go for a heat wave here and a blizzard, Terra Dragon doesn't actually matter here. Yeah, I should outspeed both of them. Iron Bundle it doesn't run Ice Shard. No, I think I, I just win in priority, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Landorus goes down. And then again, I am in Tailwind, they are not. I love tailwinding on the second turn, man. Hydro Pump's nasty, but it doesn't matter because my Frost Moth is not faster. Nope, no, it's not. Uh oh. Snow's gonna stop, Tailwind's gonna peter. And Obama Snow's the only thing that I have. Oh no. Oh no. Can I do it? Can I beat an iron bundle like this? I don't know. 
If I Terra Grass... Well, Terra Grass is kind of the only thing that I can do. Uh, Terra Grass, Helping Hand, Frozmoth. Because they're not going to see Giga Drain coming. They're going to... Yeah. Yeah. They're going to attack the Obama Snow. Well, to be honest, they're probably going to Blizzard. Uh-oh. Wait. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. This helping hand should help. They have to make a choice based on information that looks weird. Ah. No, that's not going to do it. My Frozma's too bulky. Yeah, we love Giga Drain. Mmm, beautiful. Beautiful. That was scary to me. They could have absolutely won the game, I think, if they went for a, I guess, a Hydro Pump on the Frozma. Uh, which even then, now that I think about it, it might have taken that. There's a chance that it would have taken that. If I had terastalized that dragon, that would have been bad for me, because that icy wind would have been would have been uh, a lot more damage. Anyway, uh, hey, we did it. We pulled out the win. It it looked uh, a little bleak at the beginning there, but but uh, I think we got there. I'm glad that we got there. All right, let's go on into game two. Let's uh, see if we can do it again. Okay, this battle up here is up against a bunch of things that don't want to take ice damage. That's Amoongus, that's uh, Tornadus, that's Landorus. So I feel like this is the right combination. We've got Frozmoth, Snow, set up the Aurora Veil, hit him with a bunch of blizzards, maybe get a Quiver Dance off here or there. Uh, get the ice up, so I, or sorry, get the snow up so I can take less uh, damage from the Urshifu, I guess, and from the Landorus. Yeah, uh, and then just in case either one of those go down, they can bring up the Tornadus for some extra uh, flying type damage. And the Heatran, I guess, right? No, I, I can probably get away with a Garchomp here. If I force an early Terra on like an, an Amoongus or uh, Tornadus, then Garchomp goes pretty hard against that Heatran later on. Also against the Fluttermane, right? Because I've got Iron Head on that. Yeah, let's bring that. That works for me. Works for me. I will say I had, <laughs> in between that first game and the second game, I had some of the longest, stalliest games that now I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I went up against an Obama Snow. Not an Obama Snow. I'm the Obama Snow. I went up against a Dondozo where they sent out the Tatsugiri. I don't even remember if that was the game that I used. No. No, it wasn't. Uh, where I KO'd the Tatsugiri and then Dondozo comes out and it's like, oh, I don't have my Tatsugiri. And then it proceeds to stall me and predicts all of my my uh, attacks. The game was like 30 minutes and not fun, so I didn't use it. Uh, what is this, Lando? Yeah, Lando Thundo. I'm happy with this. I feel like I can Quiver Dance. I feel confident enough to Quiver Dance. No, I don't. I'm gonna get rock slid and die. But if I don't, then I Quiver Dance. Uh, I guess I set up the Aurora of Oh, what am I doing then? Just Terrasilize. Aurora Veil, yeah. Terrastalizing in snow. Is that worse for me? Oh, it's interesting they went for the bleak wind. Oh, thank you, Obama Snow, for not going down to that. Ooh. See, the thing that scares me now is that they can Tailwind and Rock Slide next turn. Never mind. I'm very sad. I'm very, very sad. We're going to go for a Blizzard. I hope that we can KO both of them. Uh, helping Hand Blizzard. It's either Hel- Nah, Roar Bill. Okay. 
because now the opposing Tornadus can go for a Tailwind, they're going to outspeed, and then they're going to be able to, to rock slide them both down. So, uh, if my if I used Helping Hand, I would have done extra damage to both of them, but I'm fairly confident that if they don't Tailwind, that I can just KO both of them and, and Aurora Veil for the win. Uh, like, that'll set me up for the rest of the game. Very important. Thank you for not going for Tailwind. This is amazing. Uh, however, does mean that my Aurora Veil isn't going to go off, but that's fine. That's fine. Getting a double KO is way more valuable than whatever uh, my Abomas Nut was about to do. So. Look at this dragon hat Frozmoth. They really, really, really valued getting the uh, the snow off the field, huh? Okay, so that's Urshifu. That is a little scary that the Urshifu's there. Don't be speed. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to Giga Drain. I'm going to Giga Drain, and I'm going to swap out. I think I can bring Tornadus out. They can just go for a Dazzling Gleam, and I don't want that. So we're going to swap out here. Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to go for a Dazzling Gleam and Dragon type. Let's see if Quiver Dance actually makes the difference there. I'm not I'm not fully confident that it will. It doesn't. Uh-oh. Frozmoth's down. Uh, the crit! <laughs> I think it ma I want to say it mattered, because Frozmoth has, like, an insane amount of special defense. At a, and, and a plus one, so. Oh, boy. That's not great for me. Okay, we're going to bring out... Garchomp here, because I honestly I like the sun up for surging strikes. That's pretty great. I would like to try and take out the flutter main with an iron head here. And I can make sure that happens by hitting a tailwind. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of spelled their own demise by by tossing a sunny day out uh, with a water shifu. And I'm going to try and use that to my advantage. What are we doing? Terra Fairy Fluttermane? Terra Fairy Fluttermane. Okay. Please let this Iron Head do all that I need it to do. It did. Happy. Happy, happy, happy. Now, I would like... Yeah, there we go. I would like it to attack <laughs> my Garchomp because of the rough skin. Let's just do three times rough skin damage, please. Thank you very much. Beautiful. I feel like it's doing just as just as much damage to itself as it is to me. It's not. Oh, uh, kind of is. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go for a stopping tantrum on that and the bleak wind, and we are gonna get the win. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Oh, that's great. That's great. I'm so glad that it wasn't a 30 minute battle, and I'm so glad that I won. I would have used it if I didn't, but. Oh my gosh, there we go. There we go. We're pulling out wins here. I'll tell you about the other one another time. I forget what the other one was. Um, yeah, so let's go into game three. This will be a fun time. Let's go. All right, so this battle's up against an Azumarill. Oh, I don't like Azumarills. I am a little scared of Azumarills, actually, because they can one-shot my Tornadus. Uh, you know what they don't have, though? is someone to set up the rain. A rain-boosted Azumarill can definitely take out my, my Tornadus, but I'm not super sure about just like a regular old Liquidation or Play Rough. So if I bring these two to start, then I think we'll be okay. 
Uh, Garchomp seems to go pretty hard against the Grimmsnarl and the Frozmoth, and it kind of rounds out what I have weaknesses to here. So if I bring these four, I think, I think that'll work pretty well. Bringing the Heatran is nice against the Golden Go and is nice against the Grimmsnarl, but I don't know if I need to bring that. Cresselia, I, I'm sorry, I'm not bringing it this game. But I will say, uh, honorable mention to Cresselia because it can use uh, Lunar Blessing on Frozmoth. Right? You can set up a couple Quiver Dances with uh, Lunar Blessing, but no, I don't think I'm going to be bringing it this turn. This turn, this game. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the way that, that Frozmoth wins, right? Is you go for a bunch of quiver dances and then you just one shot everything with, with uh, Giga Drain. You bring all of your HP back and you have a great time. Anyway, Golden Gold Grimmsnarl is golden great. I can't. I guess I can taunt it, can't I? Yeah, I can taunt the Golden Go. I can't taunt the Grimmsnarl because it's Dark type, but we'll use that Aurora Veil here. I might get what? Oh, it's good as gold. Oh, right. Of course. I forgot that good as gold doesn't uh, doesn't let me attack that thing with things too. Cool and fun. Cool and fun. Why is Golden Go this? Why is this Golden Go? Plus six. I'm just going to plus six my life. It's fine. I guess that's the Pokemon version of Plus Ultra. Just plus six your life, folks. Yep, we're going to hit a Bleak Wind Storm. <laughs> They've got a... Oh, man, this sucks. They can nasty plot until the cows come home. I'm going to have to Blizzard and hope for a freeze. Pretty sure I can freeze with secondary stuff. Golden Go avoids it, and it's fun. They're going to plus six their life. No, don't plus six your life. Freeze. Freeze. And they're going to bring down my special special attack. These guys are built to destroy me. These guys are built to destroy me. What do I do? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to still... I guess Tailwind here. Because what's important is that I try to freeze. <laughs> they have Light Screen up. They have Nasty Plot up until plus six. They're just going to, uh, what's it called? Make it rain all over the rest of my team. Ouch. Yeah, they went to plus four because they thought that they didn't have to, but uh-oh, turns out Tornadus is having a great time, except they're going to hit a Spirit Break on Tornadus and take that down. What was that about not needing Heatran? Yeah, Golden Go is just... <laughs> oh no... Oh, no! It's fine, I have Frozmoth. I have Frozmoth and I have Quiver Dance. All I need to do is hit one Quiver Dance, and the rest of my life is great. Ready for this? Watch. I'm going to Stomping Tantrum, the Golden Go. It's going to Terrastalize. I'm still going to Quiver Dance. Yeah. Yeah! Hitting Protect is... So fun. Oh, okay. I see why. But now I've hit Stomping Tantrum anyway, so or now I've missed Stomping Tantrum anyway, so I'm uh, I'm having a good time. I suppose I could have protected and or sorry, I suppose I could have swords dance and quiver dance. Just double dance. Dance all over him. Be the real dancer. But I guess missing a stomping tantrum is like hitting a sword stance, right? Yeah, yeah it is. There we go. Um, Cope, we're gonna hit the blizzard. We're gonna win. I'm plus 
0.25 with this with this quiver dance because of the light screen. Yeah. Now if it's flying, then this is actually better for me. That's water. This is worse for me. This is absolutely terrible for me. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I love water. Water is so fun. Water's great. Parting shot's great. <laughs> this team is built to destroy my entire life. Uh, I'm, I mean, it stays in. This, this battle stays in for sure. Because there's a chance that I make it out of this with this blizzard. Uh-oh. It all depends on how much damage that Golden Go does with Make It Rain at plus three with Aurora Veil. That's plus 1.5. Like, it's gonna take down my Garchomp. I don't think it's gonna take down my Frosthawk. No. <gasps> it didn't take down Fro uh, Garchomp. That's wild. Okay. Okay. What are they gonna do? Oh man, if they bring out that Grim Snarl, that's that's spooky for me. That's incredibly spooky. I'm not sure what to do. Cause Golden Go might protect here. If Golden Go protects and Grim Snarl goes for my Garchomp, it can take out my Garchomp here. I do have Tailwind up, right? Yeah, Tailwind up for one more turn. It's safe to protect. But they don't know that I have Giga Drain. They don't know that I have Giga Drain. I can just use Giga Drain. Yeah. No, okay, well that actually did much less than I thought it would. <laughs> because I'm at not plus anything. I'm at not plus anything. <clears throat> and let's have this flinch, just cause. Doesn't matter, actually. Uh, it does matter. Please flinch. Please flinch, Grimmsnarl. Okay. <laughs> that one's gonna Peter. And it's just Frozmoth. Never mind. <laughs> Terrastalize! Let's go! The dragon type Frozmoth! Let's do it! Carry me! Carry me, dragon type Frozmoth! You can do it! Look at how beautiful, majestic, Dragonic. The Dragonic Frozmoth going for the blizzard. Missing the Golden Go because of course. Because of course it would. <laughs> then it hits me with a Shadow Ball. Thank you. Thank you, please. Num, 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 num. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so that's fun. I... I learned something this game. I really, really did. That Golden Go is not to be underestimated. If you see a Golden Go, uh, if you're using this team and you see a Golden Go on the other side of your team, on the other side of the field, uh, bring yourself a Heatran, I think. Even though it might tear a, tear a water, it's still worth bringing the Heatran. Because you can go for that Heat Wave, you can go for that Flash Cannon. Uh, just try and take down that Golden Go at all costs. Now, in that last game, I worry that Frozmoth just kind of wasn't enough. I maybe could have hit it with a couple of quarter dances, but um, no, I mean, they they had my number right with parting shot and with uh, spirit break. They had lots of options to take down this Frozmoth. And I, I've found that a lot in, in these games that Frozmoth works really well when it works. Um, you can set up a bunch of Quiver Dances. You can even use Cresselia to Lunar Blessing, the Frozmoth. Uh, and then later on, you can even Helping Hand with Cresselia or with a Bomb of Snow and hit them with some massive Giga Drains and get back all the HP you lost. But Frozmoth is so fragile that even with the snow up, I, I get worried every single time about if it's, if it's going to go down or not to any kind of attack. 
because sometimes it takes massive damage and sometimes it takes six, but sometimes it takes massive damage, right? So I don't know, I, I like this team. I think that it has very specific use cases and in a meta where it could kind of be a large handful of things, I don't really see this working too well. But, but your experience will definitely differ from mine. I hope you enjoyed these battles regardless. Uh, and I hope that you're able to take this team and, and really run with it. But anyway, uh, big thanks to Doga for sharing this team. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun, regardless of how I turned out with it. And in the video, I mean, I put in, <laughs> I put in the battles that I won. I think I won more than I lost with this team, if I'm honest. But uh, I don't know. Feels weird. Feels weird. I like the team, though. Anyway, uh, I've been Mike. I play with two Pokemon on the field, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.